Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Chrome bit to display a movie poster web view. Um, I just power washed this device, so it's uh, essentially like it's brand new right out of the box. Uh, so the first thing you're going to see is uh, a box coming up telling you whether or not you have keyboard and mouse detected. Uh, just continue on from there. Um, then you're going to need to connect to a network right away. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi. And now it's connected. You'll have to accept the Google Terms of Service. Uh, <clears throat> and then at this point you'll get to the login screen, but before we do that you're going to want to hit Control alt k And this is going to enable the device to boot directly into a kiosk mode. So just click Enable and OK. And then it's going to bring you right back to the login screen. Then you can log in with uh, any Google account that you have. Alright, so now that I'm logged in, the first thing I'm going to do is change the screen resolution to 720p so you guys can see this a bit better. Alright. So after that, what you're going to do, open up Google Chrome and go to Settings and then More Tools and Extensions. Now I already have a whole bunch of extensions on my account. Uh, you, you may have some, you may not. Um, but you're going to need to add an extension. Uh, so go to the Chrome Web Store. and search for kiosk, K-I-O-S-K -K. and hit enter and the one you want is this one right up on the top here with this nice little green square logo just hit add to chrome and add app and it'll only take it a few seconds to download and install now we don't want to open it quite yet because um, it's going to make your life a bit more complicated if you do so go right back to extensions and find it in your list of extensions and disable it. Uh, the reason for this is because we're going to use this app to launch a web page immediately after the Chrome device boots, but we don't necessarily want it enabled on this account. Uh, that way you can still log into this account if you want to use the Chrome device for other things or if you need to change settings. Then you're going to copy the app ID you just highlight it and control C to copy. Make sure you have developer mode enabled. Uh, if you don't, you will not see this manage kiosk applications button. Uh, but after you have developer mode enabled, go ahead and click on manage kiosk applications. Paste in the app ID for the kiosk app. Click add. And hover your mouse right over the uh, the kiosk application in in this uh, list and set to auto launch. And then you're done there, so you can click done. Now I'm setting this display up in a portrait layout. So before I re reboot the device, we're going to go into the settings and into the display settings and change the orientation to a 90 degree rotation. And hit done. This might be a little hard to navigate because everything's sideways on you. 
Um, but at this point you can then reboot the device. Um, this particular device, being a chrome bit, does not actually have a power button on it. Um, so the easiest way to do it is to just shut it down uh, right from the menu here. Wait for it to turn off, which only takes a second. And then just power cycle it. I just unplugged and replugged in the power. So now when it comes up, you get this request to allow Kiosk app to auto launch, and you're going to confirm. And in a second, it will bring us to the settings for the Kiosk app. So up here in the content field is where you want to put the URL for your web view display. Uh, you're going to want to use the IP address instead of a host name. Uh, I've had difficulty with the device finding the, uh, the movie poster PC by host name. Now, since I have this set at 720p, I don't need to specify the resolution, but uh, I will anyway. Um, if you have a 1080 screen, which I'm sure most of you do, or even a 4K, um, you're going to want to set the screen resolution as a second parameter here. I put in 720. Uh, so after you have the URL entered, uh, you need to make up a password for this kiosk app. Um, make it something simple that you remember. And then hit save. And in a few seconds, you should see your movie poster web view. And every time you restart the device after this, it will immediately boot uh, directly to the screen. So to show you how quick it is, um, I'm going to unplug the device and replug it back in. So it's unplugged, and it's going to start booting now. And there you have it. That's as fast as it boots. It is incredibly quick, simple to set up, and just to show you, it supports full trailer capability. Out of the box, no additional codecs or other uh, software needing to be installed. You can call the Da Vinci of our time. What do you say to that? Absolutely ridiculous. I don't I have some show times set up so you can view the show times for your upcoming movies. And it, it works great.